In this tutorial, we'll look at basic trimming using the trimmer tool. The trimmer tool looks a bit like a stapler with arrows pointing to the left and to the right. We can click on it, choose the standard trimmer, or we can press F6, and that will choose one of the trimmer tool modes. If you just keep pressing F6, you'll cycle through the modes. I've got a one bar drum loop. Let's take a listen. The concept behind the trimmer tool is that we will trim regions and basically only play the portions of the regions that are shown. But we're not actually deleting the portions that aren't shown. So let's take a look. We'll click and drag this back to one beat. And it bears mentioning that I've got the grid turned on. And this particular drum loop is in the tempo of our session tempo, so that way I will get really precise uh, rhythmic edits. And now when I play this back, I get just that portion of the region. And I can choose the hand grabber, that's F8, or just click it on the toolbar. And I can duplicate this by um, pressing Command D for duplicate. And let's duplicate this four times, and we'll get a four beat ramp. Now, if I duplicate it one more time, so I'll select it with the hand grabber, Apple D. If I want the rest of the loop to play, I just use the trimmer tool to reveal it. So I click and then drag out. And the trimmer tool is just telling Pro Tools only play the visible area. Um, and this is great is because you can always sort of get back your edit, assuming that you don't apply effects to the edit and create a new region, which we'll talk about in another movie. You can trim from the right to the left, which we've done. You can also trim from the left to the right. You can flip the trimmer tool by holding Option, and you'll flip it anywhere. And if you're ever concerned about not having your region back, remember that your regions are stored in the regions pane. And the beauty of Pro Tools and just digital audio workstation software is that you have non-destructive editing. That means that if something uh, is applied to the region that would make it fundamentally different, it would just create a new region. It wouldn't actually take your original file and change it unless you went to great lengths to tell Pro Tools to do that because it actually does have an option, but they make it purposely hard to find. 